So hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to play games using AtherSX2 emulator or you can say that this video is AtherSX2 emulator setup guide. So watch this video carefully so that you don't have to face any difficulties. So let's start the video. To play games in this emulator, you need only two things. The first one is game and the second one is BIOS. So first of all, you have to install two apps in your phone. The first one is Jet Archiever and the second one is Ether Emulator in which we will play games. So first of all, you have to open the Jet Archiever application and create a new folder here and name this folder as PS2. We will keep all the files here. So after the folder is created, now you have to go to the folder where your game is. So now you have to click on the three dots which are on the upper right corner and here click on multi select and select both the files your game and bios and then long press anywhere now click on cut and go to device storage and then go to ps2 folder and paste these files here and now you have to extract both the files so now you have to make a single click on your game file and as soon as you click on it many options will appear here then you have to click on extract here and as soon as you click on it your game will start extracting and will be extracted in a short time so after extraction you will get a file named .iso which is a working file which will work in our ether emulator also you have to extract the bios file in a same way and now you can also delete the old format of your files And by doing this, all the work of the Jet Archiver application was over. Now you have to open the Ether emulator and when you open it for the first time, you will see an interface like this. Here click on next and again press on next and here click on fast unsafe default and again click on next and here click on import BIOS and as soon as you click on it, your file manager will open automatically. Now go to PS2 folder and click on the BIOS file. And here you will see our BIOS file is successfully imported. Here click on your BIOS file and click on next. And now click on the plus icon. And here our PS2 folder is already open. Now click on use this folder and click on allow. And now click on next. And now finish. And by doing this, your game will appear in front of you. So now you can play your game. So if you like this video then please like and subscribe and if you have any problem then please comment below I will reply as soon as possible to you. So thanks for watching and do subscribe.